Hey everybody, welcome to Beast Battle 1891, and here we got a pretty extreme 1v1 fight. We have Yoko Ratona going up against Captain Falcon, and this battle will take place on a random stage. Hope you guys enjoy. Before we jump into what could be another fantastic war, I want to congratulate our red-headed vixen on reaching 40 wins. Other than the PPGs, no other competitor in 1v1 has reached that mark. This also means Yoko is no doubt going to make the Hall of Fame. Hooray! And I want to clap to her right before we jump into this battle. It's been a great honor calling her matches and watching her career blossom, no pun intended. With that being said, let's see if Yoko can snatch up her 41st win over the F-Zero driving legend. Here we go. And I look forward to calling this one. Let's see what happens today. This is going to be a historical set, folks. Why? Because I'm going to F4 Yoko and give her X crew. I want her to be at her best Round against Falcon. One. Round one, here we go. All right, Falcon starts with a Falcon kick. Yoko cuts him right out with a big energy jump cut to a ground drill. Doing a fair bit of Falcon tough. Yoko with a side kick, cannonball back shot from her gun. Volley and Captain Falcon. Yoko trying to spot dodge from Falcon's dad. Ends up blocking his incoming onslaught. Yoko cuts him off with a side kick. Goes for a big super energy fist coming to axe handle to a big plasma burst from her gun. Now Yoko with a side kick to a cannonball back shot from her gun. Knocking Falcon senseless. And Yoko trying to push with a dive kick and cuts Falcon down with a baseball side kick. And Yoko nearly flawless as Captain Falcon in round one. Man, what a performance round from our red-headed two. vixen. Round two is see if Falcon can battle back. Big left to boost followed by the aerial fist to a Falcon dive. Launching Yoko to the bat hard. Now Yoko tries to block Falcon, who's trying to get his game face back on. Falcon dive launching Yoko to the corner. And Falcon just all over Yoko here. Not even giving her a chance to breathe. And Yoko just getting jab locked in the corner by Falcon. And Yoko tries to dodge the Falcon kick. Gets fed by Falcon. Multi it needs to a jump kick. Yoko needs to turn this around in a hurry. Falcon punch right to her grill. Then a high kick knocking Yoko in the corner. And Yoko battles back to the knee, knocking Falcon back. And Yoko tries to get a high punch off. Then a ground drill cutting Falcon right to an electric energy blast from the air. Then a high punch knocks Falcon back. A Falcon breaks right through Yoko's defenses with the Falcon kick. Show me a move. And Captain Falcon takes round two pretty convincingly. And he will force round this set to three. round three. Let's see who takes it. Yoko blocks the Falcon kick, runs Falcon body slams him. Yoko glowing a yellow color, gets a ground drill, ends up missing Falcon though, and well, ends up clipping up a little bit. Yoko rolls by Falcon, oh, goes for a big ground stop, and a big left at first and flies better, right the center circuit combo, followed by a double uppercut, nearly taking Captain Falcon out. Can Yoko put him away now? Big slide kick to a cannonball backshot from her gun, knocking Falcon across the ring, Falcon bounces back to the Falcon kick, to aerial knee, goes for the Falcon dive. Can Falcon come back here? Does the Yoko try to spot dodge? And Yoko carries with a slide kick, bring it up! down and Yoko has picked up her 41st victory today folks 2-1 over Captain Falcon in a pretty nice back and forth set way to go Yoko Ratona oh yeah she's Hall of Fame for a reason folks she proved it again today with the win on Falcon why she should be in it man way to freaking go Yoko there's really not much more I can say about our redheaded vixen folks yeah, she's had her struggles, but you know what? She's had her really, really big wins, too. So they kind of even out those lo those harsh losses she suffered. I mean, Yoko has had a great career. And don't get me wrong, folks. I'm not planning to stop using her. She's going to keep being used. I'll probably have her run to about, like, maybe the 2,500s if I get that far. I feel like Yoko has a lot more to offer still, so I want to keep her going. And if her 1v1 run gets stale, I might move her to doubles to team up with someone. Miku, perhaps? Eh... I mean, upgraded Miku really slows things down in double, so I might have to find another partner for Yoko. But we'll see what happens. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this match. I thought it was pretty good. And stay tuned for Mission Battle 1892. Oh, wait, before I um, end the video, there was something I wanted to address about my sound. Uh, apparently, Vicious told me I had, like, audio clipping. Apparently, I'm overpowering the mic because my voice is so high. I'm sorry about that, folks, for some of the past matches I've done where my voice was, like, booming louder than normal. I tried to move the mic farther away from my mouth so we don't have that problem anymore. I had to raise my mic boost on my speaker because the left speaker on my headset's busted. And it felt like the mic power kind of weakened. So I had to raise it up a little bit so it could pick me up. Because I felt like the game sound was overpowering me. So hopefully I have a better balance now. If not, I'm still trying to work on finding it. So bear with me as I try to fix that. Now, anyway, stay tuned for Mission Battle 1892 coming soon. Later, all.